When the war broke out in Syria some five years ago, Ala, an architecture student, was in her second year of school. Then her life turned upside down. There were no chance to complete my study in a place where people is dying. Ala began looking outside Syria to continue her studies. She reached out to a non-profit group based in Portugal. As luck would have it, they offered Ala a scholarship to complete her degree in Lisbon, the capital city. Called the Global Platform for Syrian Students, it's helping 150 students like Ala to study in 10 countries, including Portugal. It's a good example how a small country like Portugal, undergoing very difficult uh, economic situation, uh, was able nevertheless uh, to make a pilot experience and to show that Europe can do much more uh, uh, than uh, it is doing, creating a win-win situation. The United Nations Refugee Agency, UNHCR, is urging European countries to admit up to 200,000 asylum seekers from conflict zones, including Syria. Portugal announced that it's willing to increase its resettlement quota of Syrian refugees from 4,500 to as many as 10,000 as soon as possible. An elderly couple provided Allah with accommodations during her stay in Portugal. She calls them her second family. But she dreams of returning to Syria and rebuilding the country. I have to be there in the future on the land, uh, rebuilding from the zero, because Syria is my, my first country. Allah will never forget the chance Portugal gave her, although returning to Syria is her priority. It's my dream, but also I cannot forget what Portugal did for me, so Portugal is also my second country. Ala hopes to obtain a master's degree in architecture by next year. In the meantime, she's becoming more fluent in Portuguese, and her new classmates trying to help her forget the crisis in Syria, just for a fleeting moment. This report was produced by Zara Makawi for the United Nations.